Okay, uh, so this is 1.1 homework old numeral system. So we're going to start here with number one, part A. Um, this is obviously uh, the Egyptian numeral system, and uh, basically it's a symbol uh, recognition. So you look over, you see the symbol, and you write the number underneath it. So this is supposed to be a pointing finger. So we'll write 10,000 underneath the pointing finger. And then here we have two lotus flowers. So each lotus flower represents a thousand. So we have two of them. So I'll write uh, 2,000 there. And then we have one scroll. So we see over on the right that a scroll is equal to a hundred. And then we have two heel bones. Each are worth 10. So combined you get 20. And then you have two vertical staffs. Okay, what you do with these symbols is you simply add them uh, all together. So this plus this plus this plus this plus this and you get your final answer of 12,122. Right. In part B we have the Babylonian numeral system and this is actually just a uh, symbol recognition too. You simply go down to the Babylonian numeral system and you look for three uh, wedges and three vertical staffs. So here's three wedges, here's three vertical staffs, so obviously it should be uh, 33. So this is equal to 33 things. Okay, so those first two are, are uh, pretty obvious. Um, the next one we want to look at is we want to look at the uh, Greek numeral system. So on this, oops, let me pull up the numeral system on the right here. All right, so what we have is a uh, what? This is a, a phi, a nu, and a beta. And so you look over here, and again, symbol recognition. So you come over here and you look and you find a beta, uh, which is two, and we'll write a two uh, underneath it. So this is a two, and then we have a nu, which represents fifty things. And so we'll write a fifty underneath it. And then we have this phi here, which represents 500 things. I'll write 500 underneath, 500 underneath that. And again, we simply add the numbers together, and we get our answer of 552. Okay, the Roman numeral system, just as simple, really. So you have a thousand. That's what M represents. You can see it right down here. We have a D, which represents 500 things. We have an L, which represents 50 things, a V, which is 5 things, and two I's, which is 2 things. You add all these together, and so you're seeing this common theme here. Just simply copy down the numbers and add together uh, to get your answer. And uh, we have a 1,500, and I believe 57 uh, things there. Okay, so those problems weren't too bad. Uh, part E is kind of the tough one. All right, so here we're back in the Babylonian numeral system. So let's uh, pull this down so we can see uh, the Babylonian numerals. Okay, remember it's base 60. So this is like the ones column. This is the 60s column, and this is the 60s square column. It's sort of reminiscent of our numeral system when we have a ones column, a tens, and a, a ten squared, a hundreds column. So the way we do this is we simply copy down the number underneath. So this is a 1. Over here we have a 31. And then this is an 11. But what you need to remember is you can't just add these numbers together. Right? It's not 11 plus 31 plus 1 because uh, this is a base 60 uh, positional system. So over here this is actually the 1's position, the 1's column if you want. This is the 60's column. And then this is the 60 squared column. Right, so what this says is I have 11 60 squareds, I have 31 60s, and I have 1 1. And so to find my answer, what you need to do is take 11 and you multiply. Let's see if I can get a you multiply by 60 squared. And then you're going to add 31 times a 60 and then you're going to add next to it a 1 times 1. All right, so you can take out your calculator and you can do this uh, computation and when you do this uh, what you're going to get out is 41,461. 
Okay, so I'm going to need to go back here because I need some more room for part F. So I'm going to delete uh, this right here. And then under part F, okay, so in part F what I do is, is now again the Greek numeral system and I have uh, this symbol here which you can see is going to be a sigma. This is a pi and then this is a, I believe a delta. So you come over to the Greek table and let's pull it up again so you can see it nice and clear. Okay, and so what we have is uh, a sigma, right? and the sigma represents, let's see, how many things? 200 things, so this is actually the number 200. And then we have a pi, which represents uh, 80 things, so that's an 80. And then we have a delta, right, right here, which represents four things. And like uh, previously, we previously see, previously done, we simply add these things together and get 284. And so below on part G, all right, so here we have Roman numerals now. And so for Roman numerals, this is a 10 and this is a 100. So you have to be careful right, when you write a Roman numeral uh, in front of another Roman numeral and the one in front is smaller. Right, you don't add, you actually subtract. So if you have a 10 here and a 100 to the right, this actually represents 90 things. Just like this one, this uh, I represents 1, and a thing to the right represents 10, so this is actually 9 things. And so what you do is you then add these two together to get a nice number of 99. All right, so the answer there is 99. And this is Egyptian numeral, so I guess we should pull down the Egyptian numeral system so we can see it. Alright, so there's the Egyptian numeral system above here and you simply copy down uh, what the symbols are equal to and you can add them together. So the astonished man, right, the amazing number of one million. Alright, two tadpoles, each a hundred thousand, so I have two of them, so I have two hundred thousand two scrolls, each are worth a hundred, so I have two of them, so that's two hundred. And then three vertical staffs, so that's three. And I simply add these things together to get my final answer of one million two hundred thousand two hundred and three. Okay, so now let's take a look at 